the term separation anxiety is a way overused phrase. Actual separation anxiety is a severe situation and is not as common as many people may think. This is when a dog has extreme anxiety when they are away from a certain person or people. What many dogs suffer from is separation stress which is a much milder condition. The good news is that this can be dealt with and your dog can learn to cope with this relatively easy as compared to separation anxiety. Separation anxiety is something that is best healed with the help of an experienced dog behaviorist. You will not find a quick fix or simple solution on the internet and needs to be dealt with by a professional. The other distinction that needs to be made is between a separation-related issue and an isolation issue. A dog with a separation issue is caused by them being away from a particular person or people. Simply leaving them with another carer or person will not stop them stressing and threatening. A dog with an isolation issue means that being with another person other than their owner will help relieve the stress or anxiety. If a dog is chewing up stuff, toileting inside, looks sad or down when you leave or goes crazy with excitement when you return it is often assumed they have separation anxiety. If a dog is chewing up stuff, toileting inside, looks sad or down when you leave or goes crazy with excitement when you return it is often assumed they have separation anxiety. In general this is not necessarily the case. It may be a behavior and training or boredom issue or it may fall into the other categories of separation stress, isolation anxiety or isolation stress. Separation problems stem from a dog's attachment to one person or group of people. In this situation no other person or animal can alleviate stress or anxiety. Isolation problems are about not wanting to be alone. Dogs are an extremely social animal and seek out company. In this situation another person or even animal can help alleviate the problem. Arranging a friend or neighbor to visit can help alleviate the issue. Alternatively, a pet minder or dog walker can be used. A further option is to use a pet camera for dogs. These devices not only allow you to see what your dog is up to but also allow interaction with your dog. This can range from simply talking to your dog to giving them a treat or game with the built-in laser pointer. Then there is the difference between stress and anxiety. This tends to be on a scale with mild stress being at the low end with extreme anxiety being at the high end. High-end anxiety is extremely serious and it will need to be dealt with by a professional. This is where a dog may really hurt themselves trying to escape or working themselves into a state of extreme panic and fear. If you have a dog that has an issue when being left alone you need to figure out which of these categories your dog fits into, a separation or isolation related issue. You then need to objectively analyze where they fit on the scale of low level stress up to extreme level anxiety. Even though each dog is different it will give you a starting point to finding a solution and beginning to help your dog cope and adjust. Separation problems are in general more difficult to fix than isolation problems. Here are some of the signs and symptoms to be aware in relation to separation or isolation problems. It is important to understand that simply because your dog has some of these behaviors does not automatically mean that you are dealing with a separation or isolation problem. In many cases it may be that your dog is bored and frustrated or there is a behavior issue that needs addressing. Toileting, either urinating or pooing when they are home alone. If your dog does this when you are home it is probably not separation or isolation anxiety. It may be that potty training needs more work, or it can be submissive or excitement urination. It can even be marking behavior. Generally, a potty trained dog won't mark inside the house. Barking and howling. If this behavior is persistent and not be triggered by something such as a noise outside it is probably the result of them being left home alone. Chewing and destructive behavior. Sometimes a dog chews on door frames or window sills, digs at the door and carpet, or destroys household objects when left alone. If they are doing these behaviors when you are there, it is not a separation or isolation issue. Chewing itself is a beneficial activity for dogs. You just want to direct towards appropriate items such as chew toys rather than your chattels. When a dog chews, it releases endorphins to the brain, giving them a feel good feeling and relieves stress. Not eating or drinking when home alone. If your dog doesn't eat or drink until you return. As soon as you come back home, they start to gobble everything, which frequently results in vomiting. Salivation and increased rate of breathing. The fact that the dog drools extensively can also be the animal's reaction to great fear and anxiety. Accelerated breathing is also a sign of anxiety and fear. 
Ways to help a home alone dog with anxiety and stress. Don't make a big deal when leaving or returning. Try not to make a big fuss of your dog when leaving. Leave something with your scent on it. Leave a t-shirt or other item that has your scent. Take them for a walk before leaving. If your schedule allows, take your dog for a walk to help settle them and to release some pent-up energy. Provide your dog with activities to do while you are gone. Ensure you leave your dog with toys and ways to occupy and provide a mental challenge while you are gone. Use dog anxiety meditative music. There is plenty of music designed specifically to relax and calm a dog. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.